TBS 42's Michael Clark continues our team coverage from police headquarters where he's been talking to Camille McKinney's family. Michael, a desperate plea tonight. Absolutely, and as so many people, including the police department, search for a cupcake tonight, her grandmother, Lakeisha Simpson, knows that someone out there has information that can lead to the safe return of her granddaughter. In fact, we saw some family members coming out here today to put up these posters in hopes of spreading her smile so that someone can bring her home safe. And I miss my baby. I want her to come home. That's all I want is for my baby to come home. For family members of Camille McKinney. I would give anything to see her today. Words are hard to come by. It's been almost 48 hours since the three-year-old known as Cupcake was reportedly kidnapped at a weekend birthday party at Tom Brown Village. We're real close. That's my sidekick. We do everything together. That's all we want is that baby. But today, everyone is still searching for the missing child. This is cell phone video showing two people being taken into custody by law enforcement for questioning in center point Sunday night. Officers found the suspect vehicle and the two persons of interest after tips from the community, but still no sign of cupcake. That's my niece. I want her back. Please, whoever, just take her anywhere. Just drop her off. We don't care we where you it. drop her. Just drop her. Officers are leaving no stone unturned as loved ones make sure everyone recognizes this smile. Keep that spray in the mouth. Okay. So everybody who hadn't seen can see. Fires are going up around the metro area as the Amber Alert expands to other states. We want this baby. We want her now. And tonight, this family is leaning on their faith. And wherever this baby at, Lord God, we ask you to move, Lord. Thankful for prayers and full of hope that answers will come soon. If you have seen this baby, if you've seen Cupcake, Call Crime Stoppers. Call me. You can inbox me, message me. I'm on Facebook. Now back out here live, another look at the missing person flyer for Cupcake. Birmingham police aren't ruling anything out, but they said they weren't aware of any connections between the persons of interest and Cupcake's family. We also know that Cupcake's family has been here at the police department talking with detectives today, but so far the investigation continues at this hour. Much more on this developing story in a live report at 6 o'clock. But for now, reporting live downtown outside BPD headquarters, I'm Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Michael, thank you.